And welcome to Tucker Carlson Tonight. I'm your host and human white claw, Tucker Carlson. <laughs> There's a lot to cover tonight, including the impeachment. So in place of my usual monologue, here's a loose collection of scaremongering non sequiturs. Is AOC hiding in your house right now? <laughs> Wouldn't put it past her. Pronouns for dogs? Come on. Everybody knows they're boys. <laughs> Pixar. Is it making our kids depressed or gay? Pick one. <laughs> well, the impeachment has reached its foregone conclusion with the acquittal of Donald J. Trump. And tonight's first guest is a power player in those hearings. Please welcome 65-year-old teacher's pet, Senator Lindsey Graham. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Tucker. It's a great day for 30% of America. And tonight, we party. <laughs> Wow. Well, Lindsay, you're obviously very happy about the verdict. Look, Tucker, this, this trial was offensive and absurd, like a freaking episode of Rick and Morty. Excuse mm. my foul language. <laughs> but we all agree the attack on the Capitol was a horrible thing. But just because the rioters were yelling, fight for Trump, doesn't mean they meant Donald Trump. <laughs> Could have been some real Tiffany heads, maybe even some Eric stands. I don't know. But regardless, the trial is over, and now we can move past this and focus on the serious issues. That's locking up Hillary and freeing beautiful Britney Spears. Yeah. That's a great point, Lindsay. It really makes me contort my face like I'm thinking. I just don't understand why everyone still insists on taking Donald Trump down. He is smart. He is nice. He's in shape. Last fall, he died of COVID and didn't even tell nobody. And now everybody's saying he attempted a coup. He didn't attempt a coup. He is coup. He's the coolest guy I know. Yeah, maybe the coolest guy ever? Look, the important thing is the good guys won again. And we couldn't have done it without this bastard. Get in here, Ted Cruz. Wow, Senator Cruz, welcome to the show. Well, thanks, Tucker. What does... Wait, what does it say below me? Oh, yeah. That's what Trump said about my wife. <laughs> yeah, I, I think she's beautiful, but since Trump is the boss... Sorry, honey. You busted. Just in time for Valentine's Day. Wow. And can I say the beard is working? Well, you'd be the first. <laughs> Now, Mr. Trump's defense team got off to a pretty rough start earlier in the week. Can you tell me how you pulled this out? And while you talk, I'm going to have a look on my face like a baby seeing his first balloon. Well, thanks for the question, Tucker. Like any impartial juror, we took it upon ourselves to meet with the defense lawyers to give them some very simple legal advice. Stop and don't. <laughs> right, but overall, you know, Ted and I are extremely proud of Trump's lawyers, who are both partners at the law firm of Salino and Yikes. Damn right. Thanks, Tucker. Thank you, gentlemen. While we're on the subject of the Trump defense team, let's take another look at some of their arguments from earlier. Hello, Senate and uh, other serious people. Uh, I want to apologize for being unprepared. Last time I was out here, uh, wife bought decaf. <laughs> but I promise I'll make it up to you now. Uh, as you all know I am the lead prosecutor. Nope, sorry, I'm the counsel. <laughs> I know the difference. Uh, but as Trump's bailiff, nope, not right either. Bridesmaid, nope, sorry, I need a second. <laughs> Let's hear it for the prosecution. Wowzer, am I right? Y'all rule. Crushed it. Well, that's my time. <laughs> All right, I'll take it from here. My name is Mr. Van Der Veen. That's Dutch for man of the penis. <laughs> so I've, I've heard it all, all right? First off, let me say that I do not want to be here. I am not like you, okay? I'm not from Washington. I'm a Philly boy. And I said that uber and uber. And this is the worst thing that's been in the Senate chamber in the history of a couple weeks. Jiminy Crickets! And now the, now the House wants to bring up witnesses over Zoom? Zoom? I can't afford to Zoom. You think I'm getting paid for this? And this is supposed to be on my last day. I already bought a non-refundable train ticket back home to Phillybania, Pennsylvania. <laughs> but if they insist on witnesses, I'm gonna call some of my own. Like Vice President Kalua Harris, Anya Presley, and Elon Omaha. 
Now, did I mispronounce the names of all these women of color on purpose or out of ignorance? You'll never know. <laughs> but if you think Donald Trump saying the word fight is a crime, I invite you to take a look at this tape. We will fight, 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 club, fight. Gungan's not dying without a fight. Well said, Jar Jar. Me arrest my case. We now go to our final guest tonight, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Hello, Tucker. Now, Senator McConnell, why did you vote to acquit Donald Trump? Because everyone knows you cannot impeach a former president. That's why we should have impeached him before, back when I said we couldn't. Well, that logic pretzels out, but what do you really think of Trump? I think he's guilty as hell. And the worst person I ever met, and I hope every city, county, and state locks his ass up. Oh, God. That felt good. I've been holding that inside my neck for four years. I got cracker crumbs in here. Wow. So what's next? Well, I don't know about my colleagues, but I plan to reach my hand across the aisle and then yank it back and slide it across my hair and say, too slow. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Uh, thanks for coming, Senator. We will be back right after this ad for senior emergency buttons. But first, live from New York, it's Saturday night!